Hey everybody, I'm Dave with Grain the Home Garden. Today I'm getting started with some redbud seeds to get them ready for planting. And redbud seeds are seeds that have a really hard seed coat and require something that you call scarification. Uh, scarification is basically where you're breaking through that hard seed coat in some way in order to trigger germination. And so I've got some that I've already separated here, but in the fall, late summer, you start to get these redbud seed pods just like this, right? Like that, they kind of look like a bean. In fact, red buds are a legume. And it's very easy to break these apart. You can just kind of do this and then peel away the two sides, break it up enough. Sometimes you don't do it right away the first time. And then you break into the peel and out come the seeds, just like this. Okay, so there are the seeds for some red buds right there. And what I'm going to do is a couple of different things. There are different ways that you can scarify seeds. Uh, with red buds, typically, what is done a lot of the time is boiling water. There's also people who use sulfuric acid. There's also uh, some other ways to do it where you're scratching into the seed coat or using sandpaper for it. And what these do is they simulate the natural processes out in nature. So if you've got birds that are eating the seed, it goes through their stomachs and you've got their stomach acids that are working on the seed coat and then they deposit it out there somewhere in nature and a tree starts to grow once it gets the cold treatment. So red buds actually need both, both kinds of treatment. They need the scarification and they need the stratification and stratification is where you've got a series of cold and warm and cold and warm that break down that seed coat even further. So they'll need a couple months of this cold stratification as well as the initial scarification. And so we're going to go through some of that today. So I've gone ahead and I put all these seeds here on this piece of paper. You can see I've got quite a few. I haven't counted them and we'll just see how many we get as we go. But what we're going to do is a few different methods for treating these seeds. The main one will be boiling water. Boiling water works very well. I've done it in the past and it does help germinate those seeds pretty good. But we're also going to want to simulate the natural process as it goes through the birds. So the birds eat it, the stomach acids work on it, and then it comes back out again and it's planted. So what we're going to do is get some sort of acid solutions together that are going to work on this. What is commonly recommended is sulfuric acid. I don't have any of that and I don't intend to go out and buy any of that because it is a very harsh chemical. But what we're going to use instead is lemon juice or vinegar. Either one of those is an acidic uh, chemical essentially that we can use to help break down those seed coats. We'll soak them and they'll take about 24 hours to soak and then we'll put them into our medium. I'm also thinking that maybe what I will do is do a boiling water treatment as well as an acid water treat or acid treatment on them and just see what works. Is there a combination that works better? Uh, what kind of germination we do get? So we'll kind of play along with this for a little bit. So I've gone ahead and I've set aside 50 seeds here that we're just going to put in the boiling water treatment. So we'll just put these here into this mug. Okay, once we've gotten them all in the mug, we are going to take our, our teapot, boiling water, and cover it with just enough for them to all get a good treatment. In fact, actually, I'm going to fill it up with a little more just so they can stay hotter a little bit longer. Probably put half the mug in there. And we're going to let that sit until it cools. So that could be about 15 minutes or so, maybe, maybe up to a half an hour. But we're just going to let that sit for now. Now right here, I've got a group of 25 seeds that I'm going to do the boiling water on also. But this set of seeds I'm going to put into this glass here later, which I'm also going to use some lemon juice with. So we'll do two types of treatments on this one. We'll do the boiling water and an acid treatment in order to see if we can get through that hard seed coat. Now into this glass here, I am going to put 25 seeds that I've counted out. And then we're going to add one of the acids. Probably the lemon juice will do that first. And then after that, we'll do another glass with exactly 25 seeds in it and put the vinegar in it. The rest of the seeds, I'll count them out. And then I will just 
do the scarification treatment. Uh, the, where I'm either using sandpaper or uh, nail clippers to break into that seed coat on those. All right, so I got three different groups here. These are going to be scarified and scarified, and these I'm not going to do anything to other than the cold stratification. That'll be kind of a control group for it. But over here on the right, these are going to be clipped with the nail clippers. So I'll just go through them, and they're really hard to hold sometimes. You just grab them real tight, and you just nick them a little bit. You really don't want to break them too, too much like that, like I just did. We will try again. One of those actually flew into that jar. So what I'm discovering here is the nail clippers are not very good to use on these right now because they are they're kind of breaking through a lot more than I want them to do. I have to be very careful with getting just a nick on the outside of that seed coat. This may actually be an easier way. Basically I just put all the seeds in together like that and then I put the two layers, fold them over, and I'm just rubbing them against each other. And there we go. That should have gotten most of them. He's on the edge. I'll check one more time. But that should have gotten through enough of the seed coat to do what we need him to do. All right, so in these three glasses, I'm just going to take our acid here for this one. And that's our lemon juice in this case here. Put enough in there that it can cover them completely. And we should be good with that. And we'll let them soak for 24 hours in that lemon juice. And we'll do the exact same thing, but this time we'll use a white vinegar in the other container right here. And again, just enough to cover them is fine. You don't need to have, fill up a whole glass unless you've got that many redbud, redbud seeds to plant. Okay, so I've done a little bit off camera here. I basically... I put the ones that we did in sandpaper into just a plain water. This is room temperature, whatever comes out of the tap water, uh, into those. And then the control is right there. I've got 23 and 25 in the clippers and 25 in the sandpaper. So those are all set to go. What I'm going to do is use these two jars right here to put in the boiling water version. And I'm just going to pour them straight over. But one of those, I'm going to drain the water off. And then I'm going to use a lemon juice to create the extra bit of acidity to see if that helps, if two methods combined work better than just the one. So just going to kind of toss everything in here, right there, and that is the boiling water, plain boiling water. There actually were a bunch of seeds that are still in here, so let me pop them in here. All right, so I'll take the other cup and I'll do the same thing for it. Still a few in here. Now I've got this piece of paper here on the countertop and I've labeled what each one is going to be and I'm going to leave them on this piece of paper overnight and then tomorrow I will go ahead and put them into the next step for the, uh, the stratification portion of these seeds. So far in this process the easiest way to go I think is just doing the boiling water but what we're checking for is how effective these are. Boiling water works really well. Actually, the lemon juice or the vinegar seem to be very easy as well, but are they that effective? So let's check and we'll see. This will probably take a couple months after I actually plant them into something before we'll know the results. And with this one, we are going to take it and we are going to drain it back into here so we can get rid of all the water. I'm just going to take a paper towel, kind of make a little bit of a filter out of it. And we'll dump this back in here so we can get all our seeds out. We've got a couple that stayed in there, which is perfectly fine. But now I can take these seeds, now that they're out of the water, and I'll move the water aside and toss the seeds back into the container they were in before. And then we will take some of this lemon juice and we will just knock those seeds that were on the sides down and make sure we have enough coverage here so that we have our seeds all swimming there in the lemon juice. And so we'll let this sit for about 24 hours. After about 24 hours, we'll put them in a soil medium that's moist, and then we'll probably stick them in the refrigerator for about 30 days. Once we've done that, we'll take them out, and then we'll plant them outside for 
uh, really into spring. And we'll put them in some pots and we'll just kind of have to check and see what kind of germination we get. And when we start getting some germination, we'll be able to come back and check and do a video on that part. Uh, stay tuned because here in a second, I'll show you how to do the soil treatment for the uh, stratification portion. Uh, but that will be in real time, 24 hours from now. But for you, it will be in just a minute. Okay, guys, 24 hours later, we are here with the red bud seedlings. And so we're going to go on to the part two of getting these things scarified. And we're going to move on to the stratification portion of everything. And what I find really interesting is some of what's happened here in these little containers. We've got, what I did is I, with the ones that I did with the clippers and the sandpaper and the control group, I put in regular tap water. And so right here, the sandpaper and the clippers turned a pretty dark color of a greenish blue. While the ones that were, or the one that was the control got a little bit of that coloring, but not nearly as dark. So I think that's some of the tannins that are coming out of the seeds, and probably some of the uh, inhibitors that prevent them from germinating too quickly are also coming out there. So you can see how that worked. Uh, the boiled water one right there is very dark, but I did have twice as many seeds as I did in it as I did the others. The other colors did not really change with this is the boiling water and then lemon, and then this is just the plain lemon. And then here, the vinegar, it didn't change at all. I see no coloration change in the white vinegar. So what we're going to do next is I've got seven small little bags here, one for each type here. Uh, and they've got just seed starting mix on the inside. And we're going to put these seeds into there. And I'm going to store them in the refrigerator for at least a month, probably more like six weeks. Then I'll plant them outdoors in pots and then let them finish out the rest of their uh, cold stratification process outdoors. You could just go straight outdoors with these if you wanted to, but I'm not ready to put them in the pot, so I'm going to use the refrigerator to help get that cold storage time. So the next step is we're going to use a strainer and we're going to strain the seeds from the liquid that we have here. We don't want to use lemon juice mixed in with the soil. We don't want to use uh, the water that's in here because it probably has some sort of growth inhibitors in it. So we're going to get some clean, fresh liquid to put into these bags, just some regular water, uh, but we're going to get rid of what's in here. So I'll go bag to bag. This one I've got labeled already for lemon juice, so I'll just take the, the lemon juice that we had there, dump it in that. There's a couple that are sticking in the, in the glass, so I've just got my cold water here, tap water, and I'm just going to rinse them with that. So you can see... I've got a good bit of seeds right there. And I'm going to take those seeds out of here and we're going to just drop them in to this baggie. There we go. All right, so I have that in here. I'm just going to put a little bit of water in the baggie. I've got a small rinsing and this will go in the refrigerator. Don't put them in the freezer. The freezer is not what you need. You need to have cool temperatures, pretty cold temperatures, but not freezing temperatures for the cold stratification process. So here I've got the seven baggies of seeds that all have the different scarified seeds in them for the redbud trees. Uh, what I'm going to do next is put those in the refrigerator. We'll keep them in there four to six weeks or so, and then I'll do the next video, which will be putting them into the pots and then putting some sort of a covering over top of them to prevent wildlife from getting into them, also to give them a good chance of germinating. Uh, the last video will hopefully be showing some great results. If not some great results, well, at least maybe we'll get some interesting results between the different varieties of methods that we tried here. So I just thought it'd be really cool to kind of figure out if vinegar or lemon juice, which has citric acid in it, would be effective to use for scarifying seeds. 
My theory is that the boiling water is going to be the number one method, and I'm really curious about the boiling water combined with the lemon juice method and see how that does. Now, I'm really curious to see which scarification method works the best. My bet is that it's probably going to be that boiling water method, but the other ones all have some value to them too, and they can be used for other types of seeds that have a similar sort of really hard shell around them. So I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, hit the like button, subscribe, and follow along, and let's see how this experiment goes. Thanks for watching.